Hi, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the hibernation in an animal. So, we will also learn about why human know hibernation uh, in the past time as well as uh, current time because uh, uh, you should know about that human not hibernate but sleep not hibernate so let's begin to understand we will understand first the animal so the animal hibernation is very important during the uh, warm environment during the hot weather the animal can eat easily for example we will take example from the frog so during the warm environment during the hot weather the insects availability is more and the insect will be move and uh, reproduce more so in this process insect is the food of frog so the frog can eat insect to survive so during the hot weather the insect availability is more it means the food availability is more so the frog can move and uh, can use their energy as well as reproduce itself and to produce more frogs so the life cycle can be possible in the frog during the hot weather but during the cold weather when the more cold environment the insect will be decreased even some insect will be die and some insect will go uh, itself as a uh, rest mode uh, as a hibernation so that is why the scarcity of the food food chain for some animal will be limited like frog and an insect insect itself use as a hibernation mode but the frog is basically interconnected to each other because it want to get um, uh, food from the insect and insect get food from the small insect so that their food chain will occur so that is thing to understand so during the hibernation, the frog will develop during the hot weather, develop the adipose tissue, the brown fat more. Number one thing is that and the metabolism will be more and can reproduce and can eat food. And during the hot weather, the rainy season is very, very favorable for the frog um, reproduction because frog is amphibian. Uh, require the reproduction in uh, require the water for reproduction as well as terrestrial environment for also working and the, the basically the respiration from skin as well as lungs so the amphibian amphibian like a frog and salamander both are amphibian and in this way you should need to understand about that hibernation is so important because the food availability in the winter uh, season in the cold season will not possible so the frog will cover itself in the soil and in this way the frog will be hide uh, itself for preservation of energy so frog will not move the kinetic energy will not use after the kinetic energy is not used also the metabolic activity will be decreased in this way the decreasing of the metabolism Decreasing of the metabolism means the catabolism will decrease and anabolism will be normally maintained on the basis of level. So in this way the frog can live 6 months in the hibernation mode. So it is very easy to understand. And frog will be a frog during the hibernation can sleep, awake, sleep, awake cycle can be occur but frog will not move because the energy preservation mode if it will uh, use energy as a kinetic energy so the loss of energy will be more but the uh, uh, energy input will be decreased will lead to cause death and weakness let's begin to understand this is the hibernation let's begin to understand for birds some birds like hummingbird hummingbird also work like a hibernation but not true hibernation that is known as daily torpor daily torpor mean the uh, the uh, the hummingbird will drop their temperature when uh, hummingbird drop their temperature during night time because hummingbird use a sugary material from the flower so the sugar will not convert too much in the glycogen so the metabolism will be high more for moving during the daytime but the night time it will drop their temperature 
that is known as daily darbar because night time no availability of uh, um, a vision or something uh, can't uh, um, can't get food so daily darbar will occur daily darbar mean the night time temperature will be drop and inactivity will lead to preserve energy but the during the day time the energy will be consumed from the flower as sugar so that is known as daily torpor and daily torpor is not a long duration like hibernation and a uh, third one is a sleep so the sleep is basically uh, for the human and mammals and there is a lot of animals so what is the benefit of sleep and daily torpor as well as hibernation these three things is very important for the uh, basically uh, hibernation important for the preservation of energy while the daily torpor is also preserve energy but the sleep mode also for the daily torpor containing uh, animal basically is also sleep mode basically simply sleep but the in human in the case of human human will not drop their temperature why if they drop their temperature the brain will be dysfunction the normal physiology will be disrupt in this process the problem will be occur that problem basically so solution for this problem only sleep no temperature drop but the metabolism will be little bit drop but temperature will not drop temperature will maintain so the metabolism will be drop for example low breathing low heart beat and the low metabolism so everything so in this way the sleep means the uh, uh, rest so the recovery phase during the whole day the human will work more in the office in the gym exercise working cycling motorcycling driving and uh, reading education studying going to the college university a lot of things which that will lead to tired itself due to the muscle breakdown due to the vocal cord uh, containing cell breakdown working visualization alertness will damage your whole body throughout the day will require the recovery during the night time the cell division will be increased when the cell division will be increased that is known as the cell division mitosis so lead to mitosis mitosis will repair also the muscle repair the bones repair repair and your all the brain repair is known as recovery phase so the recovery phase in 8 to 9 hours is very important for human so that is why the sleep is different than the torpor daily torpor and the daily torpor or long duration of torpor or hibernation so this all thing is due to the relationship of the food because for human the food availability is not any issue it is all time night day every day every season the food availability is possible and no any scarcity or no any problem but for the uh, frog or uh, hummingbird or other birds that is problem for food so the basic problem is food the food is the basic stimulant for the behavior of the animal like hibernation daily torpor sleep daily sleep so the daily sleep no change the physiology daily sleep mean the temperature will be normal while the daily torpor and hibernation will drop the temperature but the hibernation is long term and the uh, torpor is daily torpor is one day basically in during the night time so thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to subscribe like and share and i am also making a biomedical uh, tutorial uh, if you like this uh, video so you can uh, search all uh, content and learn about the biological science as well as plant science so thanks for watching for this time see you in the next video bye